So the producers of the Soul series, Bandai Namco, have just dropped a trailer for an upcoming game called Code Vein. There's little information known about this game so far since the trailer just dropped today, but I'm going to go through the trailer, find anything that looks familiar or interesting to any Dark Souls fans, since the game seems to be very heavily inspired by Souls. So we start with some establishing shots of a city wrecked by black spires. These black spires are the Thorns of Judgment. The Thorns of Judgment seem to have come at the end of the Age of Immortal, whatever that is, it seems the Age of Immortal is when the humans inhabited the world, but whatever caused the Thorns of Judgment seem to have wiped out humanity as we know it. We then get a panning shot of the player character, wielding a sword in one hand and some prototype looking claws in the other. Looks pretty cool to be fair. The narrator states that survival depends on humanity being thrown away. I don't know if this literally means humanity as a whole, or similar to Dark Souls, humanity is more of a concept that can be thrown away. Personally, I think it's the latter, and the player character who's some sort of vampire will have to lose grasp of his or her humanity to become more powerful. Maybe this will be a mechanic we see in the game? You never know. I'll skip to this shot here, fangs that steal the souls of the dead. I believe that the fangs he's talking about are the claws since, you know, they're the main thing in the shot. So like in Dark Souls, we're hunting for souls as they could be the currency for leveling up and upgrading the character. We then get a couple of shots of two characters walking together. This is very interesting as it could show more of a focus on multiplayer or maybe this is just an NPC and I'm reading too deep into it. You never know. A couple of nice shots of a snowy area showing that the game's going to have some sort of explorable world. There isn't much information available at the moment so we don't know if the game's going to have a souls world structure or more traditional levels. I'm going to go out on a limb and say the game's going to be semi-open world like all of the Soulsborne series, you know, it's the only thing that really makes sense. Ho ho ho, we then get into some combat. This should instantly look familiar with the side strafing and rolling that's basically trademarked by Souls now. The movement looks quick like a mixture between Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 and the player character is accompanied by another character making me think that this is definitely going to be a main focus, that co-op is definitely going to be a thing. Unless it isn't, then I'll be sad. Enemy designs are interesting, they have a biomechanical vibe to them similar to Nia. Many of the enemies shown in the trailer are larger than the player character, but I don't believe that these are going to be the basic enemies in the game, I think those are shown more towards the end. We get a few shots of some bosses, they have a very futuristic design with some vampiric elements too, like this guy's high collar, similar to how Dracula is normally depicted. Classic iframes dodge here, the boss has a really cool design with some fluid animations that really give her character. The next guy we see is a robot with stag horns with a shield that isn't messing about, enough said about him. We then get to some cutscenes showing what looks to be special attack. I wonder how these will link into the gameplay, if there will be visceral attacks like in Bloodborne, which reward Risky played, or if they're special attacks that charge over a longer period of time. We don't know at the moment. The narrator again dropping knowledge, the price for power, intense bloodlust. This is basically saying that the more blood you spill or absorb, the more powerful you become, but you also want more blood, leading to the loss of your mind, giving these creatures the apt name of the Lost. These enemies are probably going to be the basic enemy type in the game. They move like a pack like the enemies of Bloodborne, seeking blood and even cannibalizing one another. The final shot is of the character going full bayonetta with a mask covering his mouth that forms from leather straps. I don't know, it's strange, but maybe when he wears the mask, it stops him from drinking the blood of his victims, thus keeping him from losing his mind somehow. We don't know. But I think I'm onto something here. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Code Vein will be dropping in 2018. Nothing more specific than that for now. But if you enjoyed this breakdown, drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. But for now, people, peace.